Hello, welcome back to tuning in today's second video. We're doing Jeremy Wednesday for today's second video. We're looking at the uh, Jeremy season model. Uh, this one uh, for the next three months. So it's going to be September, October, November, autumn 2022. We're going to see what Jeremy is forecasting for the autumn of 2022 in a moment so just that first video today was our 6 a.m upload and we've got 10 to 14 day with all of the rate features coming up for you later on this afternoon please can you like and subscribe on the videos i mean thank you all so very much for doing that wow 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 right okay we're gonna start off with the uh month one 500 millibar high tsunami from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the uh, North Pole just here. This is the wider Arctic circle around there. And we've got the latitude through here. So blue is extrapolating to below. Average height is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. This is the 500 millibar height tsunami for September. Uh, 2022 next month. So it looks rather zonal. We've got low pressure to the to the northwest. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody, low pressure to the northwest around Iceland in the North Atlantic. High pressure is to the south and to the southwest. So it looks rather flat, rather zonal, and uh, rather westy. It will bring the most unsettled weather into the north, and it will bring the most settled weather, the driest weather, into the south. Temperature probably won't be all that far. From average as the um, air is coming in from off the Atlantic. Month number two is October and it looks like this. A so of low pressure gets in over Scandinavia and northern parts of Europe with high pressure perhaps pulling a little bit further away from us into the middle of the North Atlantic. That might start to be a little bit more of a northwest southeast alignment so it could be rather cooler for uh, October. However, we are still blocking off the Atlantic, so there would be quite a bit of dry weather. It's not overly wet by any means, but uh, maybe just blocking off the Atlantic a little bit, uh, so a rather coolish, dryish type signal for October. And then November looks like that. And it's a rather strange uh, anomaly with lots of above average heights. So, a very dry autumn coming up if this is right. You know, uh, going to be a lot of dry weather all going into the autumn. The drought will continue if this is right. The centre of the high pressure looks like it's more of a mid-Atlantic ridge up to Greenland type thing. Um, so although that does extend a ridge over into northern parts of Europe, we might pull in the air from something of a northwest or even northerly uh, direction. So maybe turning cool or quite cold in November, but still with quite a bit of dry weather. It is a very strange anomaly that I have to say. This is the autumn 2022, 500 millibar height anomaly overall, and uh, it does look like that with high pressure, about centered in the middle of the North Atlantic, but ridging into the western part of Europe as well. Right, let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude uh, view then. So uh, we can't see the Arctic, North Pole, Greenland, Scandinavia, all those areas are off the chart up here. However, we have had a look at map view down, so we know roughly what's going on. Reminder of the 500 millibar height anomaly for September with low pressure to the north and northwest, high pressure to the south and to the southwest, and winds coming in from something of a flat westerly type direction. The temperature normally in September is uh, slightly above average, especially so for England where it's having a little splodge there of yellow. It's hard to make it out, but that's like one to two degrees above that. So relatively warmish September coming up. It's a little bit unsettled though, even for the more summer areas actually, the rainfall is slightly above average. I would have thought like for normal, but particularly unsettled. But um, the model is forecasting uh, uh, slightly above average rainfall in, uh, in all areas there. And uh, as far as the uh, wind flow and direction is concerned, it's westerly, very flat westerly, the black arrows, which are always job to make out. They are coming directly across the Atlantic into the UK and also into Western Europe as well. So a proper westerly September, rather zonal. And uh, that will bring some wet weather into the country. Low pressure will be heading in from off the Atlantic there. Month number two is October. And we pull the high pressure out into the Atlantic a little bit, so centre it more towards like the mid-Atlantic, might pull in like a northwesterly 
uh, type flow. The temperature normally in October is about average, maybe a little bit above in most green sort of colours. And the precipitation anomaly, interestingly, looks mostly uh, driving average in the north, a little bit wet and average in the south, actually. So, just to make it out, but there's a bit of blue there across England and Wales, which would be rather wet and average. So, wet is where it's in the south, actually, in October. The uh, wind flow and direction for October is kind of westerly, with perhaps a bit of a hint of northwesterly. Again, the black arrow is always a little bit difficult to uh, make out. And then we go through into uh, November, number three, long way off, of course, with the, mid with the uh, mid Atlantic ridge strengthening there in the Atlantic and uh, pushing up towards green as well, which of course is going to be around here. The ridge does extend into the western part of Europe also. The temperature on me again is about average to slightly uh, above average, so warmish sort of autumn coming up. And uh, it's a dry and average month as well with the Atlantic being blocked off. The uh, wind flow and direction is a little bit northwesterly to almost northerly though. So that could be a bit colder. There's those black arrows coming in from the northwest. They are almost pulling around to the north. November could be a colder month, uh, mainly dry, perhaps quite frosty. That's quite a frosty sort of month in November. Let's just have a very quick look at the autumn itself. So see how that's doing. Uh, right, so here we go, free monthly mean then. So this is uh, the 500 millibar height anomaly for autumn 2022. And um, yeah, you know, you've got the mid-Atlantic ridge, it extends that ridge into west of Europe. Uh, as well. The uh, temperature anomaly is slightly above average. Average is slightly above, like um, uh, up to one degree above average, so not particularly warm autumn, but it's a bit milder than average. I mean, precipitation anomaly is not that far from average. Uh, we've got like a wetter month in September being offset by a drier month in November, uh, of course. And the wind flow and direction is generally like westerly for this autumn. So there should be a lot of westerliness, uh, which would normally be quite a, quite a wettish sort of signal for autumn, but because there's so much high pressure sitting over and just to our west, it's not an overly wet autumn. Most being predicted, Ben. Right, so that's it, Ben. Uh, everyone, that is your EC extended for autumn 2022. Quite an interesting forecast. It looks like it's going to be pretty dry again this autumn. We might get a wetter month in September overall. Quite dry signals, relatively mild as well. Could just be a bit of a hint of something a bit colder, though. Uh, maybe frosty uh, by the time we get into November. But, of course, we'll have to wait and see about that. Remember, any forecast beyond 5, 7, 8 comes with health warnings and large pitches of salt attached to it. So, uh, it's just a snapshot. Could look completely different uh, when we look at this again uh, in a month or so. Time will be doing January Friday, of course. Month will look at uh, on Friday. Uh, we'll probably do a season one roundup for autumn 2022 at some point, maybe over the weekend. I don't know, you know, for definite, but just watch your space on that. And we'll try and get all the models together and see what they're showing for autumn 2022 for the second and final time. We're not issuing an autumn forecast at Gasworth this, uh, this year, but we will be back with long range updates for winter 22 23, starting from the beginning of September. Wow, wow, wow. Not long to go now. Uh, well, we're going to be back later on. You think of all team there. That will include all our brave features, so make sure you check that one out. But for Jeremy Wednesday, uh, Autumn 2022 forecast, look at what not. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.